and welcome everyone to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Modern Warfare Games of Summer update or the Season 5 Reloaded update. This update will drop tonight at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time alongside the Triple Feed XP being Double Battle Pass, Double Weapon XP, as well as Double XP. Before we go ahead and jump into the breakdown of this huge update coming to Modern Warfare, if this video is at all informative to you or if you enjoy, don't forget to hit the like button and if you do enjoy the video enough to stick around for more Call of Duty Modern Warfare updates as well as Call of Duty 2020 updates or Black Ops Cold War updates, be sure to hit the subscribe button with post notifications on so you never miss a thing here on the channel. With that being said, let's get into the breakdown. Alrighty guys, so the first thing we're going to start out with today is going to be the core content inside of this update. First of all, Verdant Stadium has now been transformed into a gunfight map. It looks like we'll actually be fighting on the field in the center with a redesigned cover area. It won't really be open like the regular stadium center because of course when you do drop into Warzone you're going to notice that the stadium in the middle is going to be filled with tents and it's going to have a very wide open space on the sides. That is not going to be the case by the screenshot that we got of the map as it looks like it has been redesigned in order to actually supplement the overall gunfight playstyle. Next up, we have a new light machine gun being added to the game, the Finn Light Machine Gun. The description of this weapon is that the heaviest primary class in the game has a new challenger, the Finn LMG, and it will punch well above its weight against many of the existing LMGs, which means that this could very well be the Bruin Killer. This new LMG can be earned by completing an in-game challenge or blueprint variant that can be acquired by purchasing the mainframe bundle. Just as a reminder, if you do decide to purchase the bundle to actually unlock the LMG, you still have to do the in-game challenge in order to modify the weapon anyways, so I would highly recommend completing the in-game challenge as soon as the LMG comes out. Furthermore, the weapon is described as an agile, mobile, and hostile tank of an LMG. The Finn's ultralight and open bolt design is uniquely paired with advanced recoil controls. This all adds up to a weapon with exceptionally full auto accuracy while still being lightweight, allowing for a unique playstyle that further blurs the line between assault rifle and LMG. Overall, this weapon will be something that will most likely be used inside of Warzone, so we'll have to see how this impacts the overall meta of the game when it releases. A cool side note, it looks like you can actually customize the weapon and hold it like you could actually hold the saw in Call of Duty Ghosts, if anybody remembers that light machine gun. Moving on into modes, we're actually going to get a new set of modes that will be dropping for both Ground War and Warzone, and there will also be the return of another mode, Gunfight Tournaments. For Ground War, we have a new version called Ground War Reinforced. In this mode, flags will be more towards the center of the map, and when you die, you actually get sent to Spectator, and every time your team captures a flag, everyone on your team respawns. It's basically a flip on Team Deathmatch for Ground War, except with flags. All three of those flags are going to be located in the center of the map, and every time that you die, you're going to have to really depend on your teammates to put in some major teamwork to secure those flags in the center, because of course you get that full team respawn as soon as you secure one flag, and if you do secure all three of the flags, you're team automatically wins the round. There will be multiple rounds, so if you win a set amount of rounds, not sure on how many it is at this point, you will win the game. Moving into the new Warzone mode, we actually have an exciting mode called King Slayer. This one is for all of the fast-moving, kill-hungry players, and it definitely is going to be a lot of fun as it rewards you for that playstyle particularly. The description of the mode is that it's a large-scale team deathmatch on Battle Royale where teams fight to earn points by defeating hostile players. However, the circle actually doesn't collapse, it moves around the map for an agile battle on the go. So basically, that circle is going to be constantly moving around in order to force players out of camping spots and to make sure you're constantly on your feet. The top 5 team's top scoring player will be marked as a king on the TAC map, and if you eliminate that player, you actually get additional points and you're also awarded a free kill streak. So once you do start to become an absolute slayer, you do get marked on the map as a higher priority target, and in turn, they're going to want to hunt you more. But if you are a really skilled player with a really good squad, basically being marked will just make sure that you get even more players, so this is definitely going to be a slay heavy game mode, and is definitely something that'll be worth trying out. I know I'll hop in pretty much as soon as it comes out. This sounds like it's something 
something right down my alley. Moving forward to the return of the gunfight tournament, we now have a free access gunfight tournament that's going to be open to all players in the game. This includes free to play players who only have Warzone and basically everyone in the game can participate in this to try to win the awards. The actual awards of the tournament haven't been detailed yet in the post, but hopefully in the next couple of days we will see those actual gunfight tournaments rewards be announced. Moving to the new mid-season operator, we now have Morty, a western-themed warcom operator. The description of Morty says the following. Sergio Morty Sola hails from Italy, is a skilled tracker who loves the Old West and strongly adheres to his own rules regarding right and wrong. Served with the legendary Cole Moshkin Paratrooper Regiment in Italy before being selected to join Warcom. The description of Morty really isn't that plentiful, so hopefully when he releases into the game, the actual biography of him will be included with the operator, so that would be interesting to see. And just as a side note, Morty will be available in the shop, so he's not going to be a Battle Pass character or any type of add-on, and he'll probably probably be available for the standard price of 2,400 COD points. He does have a really cool kind of look. I mean, he's a Western operator. He's like basically a McCree for Call of Duty. I think it's pretty badass that we actually have him in Modern Warfare, but overall, I do hope that his kit comes with just some weapon blueprints themed around the Wild West, because of course, 2,400 COD points for him, to me at least, just seems a little bit high. So if there's some type of Wild West theme going on with his weapons and like vehicle skins, then it'll definitely be something that I'll be interested into looking into. Last up, we have the huge part of this update the games of summer event that will be running from august 28th to september the 7th in this event every single call of duty player regardless of free to play or full game access will have the chance to represent the respective country in a game of trials by earning medals through these trials every country will compete to have the best scores out of the call of duty player base depending on the actual medal you get you'll be rewarded Rewards can only be claimed once, and each day another trial will release. There is going to be a total of 5 trials, and they will unlock from August 28th to September the 1st, and after that, there will be six days extra for everyone to complete them. Here's the schedule of every single trial that will come out. For day number one, we have the custom gun course. You're going to want to run through this as fast as possible, shooting all of the designated targets and not shooting any of the civilians. And you will be rated on how fast you get through the course, as well as your accuracy. The higher your accuracy, the more time will be shaved off the overall time. Moving into day number two, we will have a trial called Price's Alley. This is a hectic course where you take out as many enemies as you can as fast as possible. You maintain a combo, and if you lose that combo at any time or kill a civilian, the map ends, and that is the score that you're stuck with. So definitely the overall goal of this is trigger discipline and keeping your overall combo for as long as possible to get the highest possible score. Day 3 will be a bit of an oddball one, this is going to be a risky parkour course, and if you're a fan of parkour, this is definitely the one for you. Out of all 5 of them, you should definitely run Day 3 if you're a fan of running around the map and playing parkour. In terms of day four though, we will be back to a shooting range on King, but this time we'll be with a twist. We'll have to actually go through the gun of course as fast as possible, but we'll also have to conserve ammunition, so missed shots will actually count against your time. So pick and choose your targets very closely, and you should probably set all of your weapons to semi-auto mode if you are running this. For the final day of trials, trial number five, day five, we will be doing a marksman challenge. You're going to eliminate as many enemies as you can before time runs out, and if you miss shots, you will lose even more time. Overall, this event looks like it's inclusive for the entire Call of Duty community, as well as gives playstyles and trials for players with all playstyles, and it looks like it's going to reward us pretty well. If you do manage to finish all five trials with a gold medal, they have announced that you will get an exclusive legendary weapon blueprint at the end of the event. Also, for all players who participate in the event, you'll get a Games of Summer Cup weapon charm, as well as a slew of rewards for actually completing every challenge individually that can range from vehicle skins, vehicle horns, calling cards, XP tokens, and weapon blueprints, and they also put on and more. Maybe even they'll throw in a watch or what would be the most badass of all of them, they could throw in a custom character skin that's actually themed around the event, which I would love very much. 
Alrighty guys, so that is going to be it for the actual update. You should be all caught up with everything coming into Modern Warfare tonight at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which of course will drop with its own patch notes in terms of weapon balances as well as just general fixes to the game. So stay tuned to the channel for any updates in terms of patch notes. I will actually post a breakdown of the patch notes here on the channel either later tonight or early tomorrow. Also, as a bonus for anyone who has stuck around this far into the video, there's also a quick update on the actual Warzone Black Ops Cold War reveal event coming out on Wednesday, August the 26th. Earlier today on the Call of Duty Twitter, they gave us a brief update on the actual time that the event will take place, and it will take place now officially in Verdant Stadium at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time inside of Verdant Stadium on Wednesday, August the 26th. This is going to be the time that hopefully we will expect to see the reveal of the next major Call of Duty game being Black Ops Cold War, and hopefully we will see some type of huge event happen on the Warzone map, because for a long time now it has been rumored that the map will change in some sort of blaze of glory or a nuke event. And with all that being said guys, that is going to be it for today. That will be all the content that is going to be coming out with this Season 5 Reloaded update. Hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit like on the video if this helped you in any way and if you enjoy it as well. And don't forget to subscribe for more Call of Duty news and intel here on the channel. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.